Well, I was going to camp here, but it looks like this place is occupied. And these guys look like they mean ducking business. I guess I better go. Well, we're in Cranbrook, BC. It is busy here. I really don't know a lot about Cranbrook, BC, simply because I've only ever passed through here and it's been years since I've been this far out west. Okay, we're gonna drive a little west past Cranbrook here and see what we can find for a place to take a break from the driving and have some lunch. Preferably something that's not too terribly busy where I've got a little bit of privacy, but we'll, uh, we'll see what we can find. This seems like as good a place as any to stop for lunch. We're right by the Blackstone Mining Co. Now obviously there are signs saying do not enter, so we are not going to enter for compliance, but also for the fact that any kind of construction looking area or mine can be extremely dangerous. My gosh, I am loving this weather. Now, obviously I'm not gonna touch anything out here, but just to give you kind of a look at the area, this looks amazing. How high up that is, there's equipment around. Now, obviously, I mean, if anybody does pop by and ask what I'm doing, I'm not going in, I'm just sitting outside. And uh, truck's getting <laughs> pretty dirty, as you can see. Ripping down a lot of these uh, BC back roads and even the highway, I mean, with it being this warm, we're getting a lot of slush out here, so. It's uh, it's pretty gross, but I am loving the weather. It definitely beats the weather back home. Just had someone drive by in what looked like a work truck and he just we just waved at each other. He didn't seem to care that I was here, so that's always nice. So I'm looking forward to having some lunch here. I'm gonna do a couple of uh, chicken fajitas here and then we'll move on. I'm, uh, I'm drooling just looking at that pan. I'm loving this weather. I don't even have a hoodie on right now or gloves or a toque as you can see. This is just, Big improvement from back home. I think this is probably about 20 plus degrees warmer than it is back home right now. The slice of cheese I tried to pull out pretty well broke apart on me, so for the purpose of a fajita that uh, serves our needs just nicely in place of uh, grated or shredded cheese. And top it off with a little bit of ranch. This is bacon ranch apparently. Well, we're one day in and my cab is already a disaster. I'm trying to, I'm gonna try to eat these without making too much of a mess. A little napkin under here just in case it drips. Mm. Mm. Just the right amount of crunch. Mm. I think after I finish lunch, we're gonna head back to the highway. Oh, someone just drove by. Trying to be friendly, it looked like I belong here. Um, 
this particular spot here, I did see a sign saying members only. I think it's more for like snowmobilers and such, which we are definitely not snowmobilers. Um, so I think we're going to just head back to the highway, continue out west. Basically what I've seen on the weather report, the further west we go, the warmer it's going to be. So we'll continue onward and uh, see what we can find. Well, if you want an honest look at uh, vehicle camping, there you have it. There's dishes waiting for me, haunting me. Well, the beast has been satisfied for now. Let's roll. Oh, nobody tell Rita that I almost forgot to put this back on the camera. She will literally kill me if I lose another lens cap. Well, I just arrived in Creston, BC. I did a lot more driving today than I originally planned. Not that I'm complaining though, I've been having a blast. It's been really nice to come down this highway again after several years and I forgot how beautiful it was. And uh, lots of neat places to stop. I found a rest area on the way here that would have been the perfect place to lay low and camp, but it had like so many prohibition, like no overnight camping no littering, legal action, blah, blah, blah. It's like when you go up to like an emergency exit and there's like six big stickers telling you, don't touch this door, it's an emergency exit. If you haven't read all the signs and still push it, you fail at life. It's like one of those. So I, I figured it'd be best because I'm not super familiar with the area. I figured it'd be best to just, you know, be cautious and not get myself into any trouble. What I'm gonna do now is I'd really love to crush out some editing because as I said before, one of my goals on this trip is to get at least a couple of videos up while I'm on the road. I don't have Wi-Fi here, but I figure I can at least start getting the footage into the editor and then anything that I do need uh, internet for, if I need to get any sound clips or uh, royalty-free music or anything like that, I can just find a Wi-Fi spot tomorrow or another day. But I'll just get out quick and I will kind of just show you where we are. So I'm just in a very large parking lot right now for the Creston Fine Arts Building. Uh, there's only one other vehicle here right now. There are some residences around, so I'm gonna hop back in and uh, not be waving the camera around just because I don't want to be drawing any attention to myself. So yeah, I'll just sit here and crush out some editing and uh, we'll see if anybody bothers us while we're here. Okay, cracking the laptop out. I've been really excited to try this, so. Hoping it'll, hoping it'll work. And this will be a good opportunity for me to go through all the uh, footage that, uh, that I've done so far on this trip. So in addition to the laptop, I have a USB mouse. I'm not 100% sure what I'm gonna use for this, to put it on top of maybe my laptop case. But the idea of editing and dragging and cutting and working on a timeline with a with a touchpad sounds like a nightmare that I don't want to ever have to deal with. And I also have my external hard drive, dubbed the travel hard drive. Rita put some nail polish on it so that I uh, know which one is which. Now, I have two USBs on this laptop, so should be able to have those both in. So the price I pay for having fun exploring and ripping around enjoying the sights, it's now dark. I'm not familiar with this area at all, so I don't really want to be ripping around on the highway looking for places to sleep in the dark, especially with how windy and hit or miss the road conditions are too. So I'm over by some kind of a warehouse right now. Uh, there is a logging truck ahead of me. Sometimes what I like to do when I'm not 100% sure of an area is rather than just hop in the back and try to sleep and there's still lots of time in the evening and I'm, i'll still be up for probably a few hours yet 
but sometimes I like to just park in an area and just kind of observe and see if anybody's giving me funny looks or, you know, comes right over to talk to me or, you know, looks like they might be calling the police or something. So, so far I've had a few cars go by, nobody's slowed down or stopped or anything. And I'm just sitting in my cab and I'm just working on some editing right now. And I gotta say, this is the first time, like, uh, there was one prior video on the channel where I simply just got my editor open and I goofed off on my laptop a little bit, but it was still pretty cold. It was a camp back in Alberta, so I, I didn't have my laptop out for very long. Um, but here, the temperature, it's like plus, I think it's about plus two degrees Celsius right now. So it's pretty nice. Like, I don't even have a coat on. I've got a blanket over my shoulders because I did have to get out and get some food from the fridge. So, you know cooled me down a little bit but this whole editing in the vehicle thing i gotta say i'm actually really liking this like i probably look really weird to people driving by right now but this is actually a lot of fun and i'm so glad that i brought my usb mouse from home because trying to do this on a touchpad would have been a nightmare um dinner tonight because i don't want to attract too much attention i'm keeping it very simple i'm just eating what's left of the berries that i used with the oatmeal and i've got like a couple of slices of like pre-sliced sandwich cheese the same kind i used for the fajitas earlier so it just simple just a snack if i find i'm hungry later i might make a sandwich or something but i just don't want to be setting up a stove and um attracting much attention Our home internet has uh, these Wi-Fi hotspots, and unbeknownst to me, I because I was only intending to get the video put together and then anything like I needed off of uh, YouTube, like uh, royalty-free music or sound effects or anything like that, um, just because I, I have a collection of those on my home computer at home and I forgot to put them on my hard drive. Well, it turns out the spot that I'm at by this warehouse, literally down the road, there's a car wash and there's a hotspot for my internet provider right there so i went there and i had like full internet on my laptop on my phone it, it i stress tested it too i tried watching some videos on like 1080p i tried um i jumped on a program called discord and i chatted with some people on there i was on facebook um and yeah no just and I even went on YouTube and I was downloading royalty free music and stuff and yeah, it worked flawlessly. It was basically like I was sitting at home with internet. So super helpful when you're trying to make content on the road. Anyways, I'm going to, I'm, I'm back by the warehouse spot. I'm going to uh, jump in the back, get ready for bed. It's still like plus one degree Celsius here. So this is gonna be the warmest sleep I've had in a while. Well, I'm in the back and I'm gonna head off to bed here. Be another early start tomorrow and uh, looking forward to seeing what kind of trouble we can get into. We'll probably be heading out further west. Don't know exactly where we're going yet, but we'll figure that out when we get there. Anyway, have a good night, everybody. And uh, see y'all next time.